pa, what's a good price range that they should look at na tingin mo, not, not just reasonable, but that will be attractive to maybe people who would want to buy it from them later on? I guess right now, in terms of lots, in terms of property, house and lots, street spot is around the 5 to 10 million range. Mm. So if you cannot find properties that are around that price, then it's a good investment already. But uh, meron din mga ibang mas high-end doon, mm. but I guess that, that price range is already quite good. So we have Ramon King. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me wanna dribble dribble, you know. Rich guy, property, crypto, NFTs, single guy. So comment below if you're single, ka man, kutang Pasko mo. you can check him out also. My question is this, where do you think the real estate market is headed? 2022 and 2022, what should people's focus be? Any mangiging upcoming trends in real estate? The focus is more on the landed houses. Okay. So especially in the provincial areas, na talaga nag-ship yung demand. Because of the pandemic, a lot of people realized that you can really work from home, you can achieve a lot of things without going to the city, to your office, like on a daily basis. So a lot of people have been investing in provincial areas, even in leisure areas, diba? because they can really work from home. So I guess we have to adopt to that and see where the market is going. I'm not saying that you know condos, properties in the cities will not recover anytime soon. There will always be a demand for that because not all of the work will have to be done from home. There is a growing demand for lots, you know. So if you want to capitalize on that growth, on that demand, I think you should take a look at that. But the only downside to that is it's going to be more on the capital appreciation side. You cannot rely really on the rental income from that because the demand is not as high compared to the cities in terms of rental. Follow-up question on that. So, sabi mo, lots of provincial areas. So, may multiplier your yield that goes up to 2x, 3x, 5x, 10x. My question is this, October 2022, where do you think will be one of the biggest upsides? Do they focus on Cavite, Batangas, Bulacan, Pampanga, or Laguna? Where will people make a lot of money? Parang katulad mo, diba guys? Kung alam nyo lang, Ramon King, hindi niya problema pera, love life lang yung problema. Yeah, yeah! Kaya nga tinutulungan natin, supportahan natin siya dito. Guys, if you have any recommendations, pero saan yung upside nyo? In, ter in terms of the air. Hindi mo, di mo in-expect di mo, in mo, di ba? Kahit ano, si Lito sa Roshi na gulat din. Candid tayo eh. Oh. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me wanna dribble dribble, you know. Di ba? Guys, make, oh, make, make QR code. Make QR code na siya. Hinihintay niya yung QR code. Padala mo sa kanya eh. Kahit crypto or Gcash daw eh. Pero anyways. In terms of the location, I guess it's still in the south, specifically in the areas of Laguna, Cavite, because a lot of development, especially in terms of infrastructure, is happening there. But quite recently, I guess also one very interesting place to invest in is in Lipa. So I've been to the place, it's been booming very quickly, a lot of developers are moving there as well. And you would be surprised though, if you go there, if you have the time, the chance to visit that area. Iba talaga na siya ngayon. Medyo traffic na sa Lipa. Okay. It has a, a really good potential. There's a lot of businesses going there. Hotels are coming up. May condo na nga rin dun. Eh. Okay. So, talagang booming din yung Lipa. So, if you wanna consider, you know, provincial areas, I guess that's also one option. Okay. Follow-up question. May sinabi kang maganda na booming yung Lipa. So, for people who are watching this na parang hindi naman sila real estate expert or uh, madami pera at saka single, how will they know na booming yung isang lugar? Ano yung parameters? Parang may Starbucks na ba doon? Or may, may mga government roads na pinapagawa? Or naka-Jollibee na sa lugar nila? What are the things that they should look at na alam mo na, oy parang development is coming to this area? Of course, the institutional component should be there. So, you have to have the schools, the hospitals, the ba? Also, the infrastructure. There has to be plenty of access. Apart from that, commercial then, if you see a lot of backs growing that area, you have a lot of retail spaces, you know, and uh, of course, uh, offices as well, diba? Kasi in a certain area, for it to work, kailangan, kumbaga may economy, everything that's in city there. There's lacking components, let's say institutional, we have schools, hospitals, ganyan. It's hard for that area to really grow when it's old. Kasi magiging dependent siya sa ibang cities, you, know, you really have to go drive a little bit farther in case of emergency or for your basic needs, diba? So if you see all of these components coming into one place, then that's a good sign for that property or that area to grow. We talk about property development. Ikaw, na-develop ka na ba? <laughs> <laughs> Mahirap ma-develop. Mahirap magtiwala sa panahon ngayon. Oh, eh. talaga? No? Ingat! 
guys, kung mayroon mag-commit. Mayroon mag-commit. Okay. Saan mas madali mag-commit? Sa real estate or sa love? In my experience sa real estate. Talaga? Bakit? Kasi hindi ka sasaktan. Oo. Oh, okay. Bibigyan ka pa ng return. Pero pwedeng, wal pwedeng walang umupa sa'yo. <laughs> so, sakit din ang ulo siya. Okay. Huwag so, mo lang bibenta. Huwag mo bibenta. Okay. I, I have another maybe last question na follow up on that. So, sabi mo, Lipa City, Patangas. So, that's a very, very broad area. How will people figure out kung saan sila magpo-focus doon? What will be their technique? What should I buy here? How do I know what's a, a good place to be able to buy this landed houses at the time so that will give them upside? Ano ba dapat? The villages na sobrang mura ngayon or villages na up and coming or how, how does it go? First, you have to work on your budget. Kasi even if I recommend to you the high-end subdivisions, diba? if you don't have the budget for that, then wala rin kwenta. So figure out your budget first and then from there, there's a lot of options in that area to choose from, from the affordable to mid to the high end. I guess what's important is to take a look at the developer and what their plans is for the place. Hindi lang yung basta they're gonna build a subdivision, tas yun na, okay na, di ba? You have to see what their plans is, if they're gonna put up a retail area or is it in the area where there are schools, di ba? Kasi you're in a provincial area, eh? so you want you know the people who will be living there to be close to, to their basic needs. So, kung, yun nga, as I've said, it's all about the location, it's all about convenience, di ba? Especially now, we're at the, I think we're at the post-pandemic stage already, where people are going out more, di ba? These conveniences, these necessities are within reach. And you also have to take a look at the track record of the developer. It's not enough that you invest in a place na okay, di ba? That's in a prime area with those conveniences. Kasi if the developer doesn't have a good reputation, hindi pa ganda yung deliver in a project, property management, then that would dictate the type of community who will live there. And if they're not happy with the investment, then they would tend to sell it off at a lower price kasi they want to exit the property. Tapos hindi pa kasi nandun yung future wife mo, ganun ba? Nagano ka na? Naglaland back yun ka na? We just have friends in Lipa. Hi to my friends in JCI Lipa. Okay, so mga future wife, comment below. Last question. Pag Lipa, what's a good price range that they should look at na tingin mo, not just reasonable, but that will be attractive to maybe people who would want to buy it from them later on? I guess right now, in terms of lots, in terms of property, house and lots, each spot is around the 5 to 10 million range. So if you cannot find properties that are around that price, then it's a good investment already. But meron din mga ibang mas high-end doon. But I guess that that price range is already quite good. Okay, 5M gets you how many square meters? 10M gets you how many square meters? 5M is around more or less mga 150 to 100 square meters. As much as 10M for the more higher end, papasok na sa mga 300 and up. To summarize what you mentioned is the growth right now is outside the metro landed houses also because I don't know, people need larger amounts of space also where they could get and then focus on Lipa Batangas, 5 to 10 million budget. Yeah, We're post-pandemic already. Are you more optimistic for property prices 2023? Yes, um, definitely I'm more optimistic, especially on the part of the landed houses. In terms of condos and cities, there's already a signs of recovery, pero we still need to see more companies, you know, go back to their offices. Mm. Kasi the reality right now is not a lot of, you know, multinational corporations, the big top 1,000 corporations here in the Philippines are resuming work na traditional na, uh, you know, Monday to Friday they require their employees to go to the offices. What we're seeing right now is a hybrid, diba? hybrid, hybrid setup we're in. Nyari, one or two days a week lang sila nag-report to the office, and then the rest of the week they just work from home. So, yung offices hindi pa talaga fully nababalikan. And if you don't have people, you know, renting these office spaces, who will live in the condos, di ba? Kasi the, usually the condos are being, you know, tinitiran siya for people who are close to their offices. But on the other side, we talked about this earlier, no? There's also this demand for bigger units wherein, yan, mga three, four bedroom, two bedroom units, and then the spare bedroom, they use it for their home office. That could also work, you know, in, in terms of this new hybrid setup that we're experiencing post-pandemic. Got it. Ano mas mauna magre-recover? Yung tayo sa pandemic or yung love life mo? No comment. No comment. Okay. <laughs> Lastly, you have a TikTok channel. How can people follow your TikTok? Ah, thank you. Thank you, Marvin. So you guys can follow me uh, in TikTok. I have a property game. And I also have a YouTube channel. It's also called Property Game. Okay. Lastly, may chance ba na may love ka rin sa isang TikToker? Okay, so that's it for now. I hope this video helps you today. Do well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. God bless you all.